Well, if you're just joining us, Maurice Chin is here from South Georgia, Brunswick to be specific, and uh, he's competing in the 44th Bake Off, Pillsbury Bake Off. He's going to go up against 99 other competitors, and if his recipe for this, what is it, cheesecake? What kind? Oatmeal Raisin Cheesecake Crumble. Wow. <laughs> if this wins... This man's taking home a million dollars. So good to see you this morning. Thank you so much for cutting me off a piece. We talked to you a little earlier on. We saw the big, uh, the pan of it. Is this like something that your friends and family are asking you to make all the time now? Oh, yes. I, I went and visited friends up in Atlanta. And, of course, <laughs> the first thing they asked me to do was to make this for them. So. Aww. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a bite here, and I'm going to make sure I get in there one of the uh, morsels, the cinnamon chip morsels that's in this recipe. Are those hard to uh, come by? Oh, very much so. I, when I was living in Atlanta, whenever I was uh, actually making uh, the or creating the recipe, and I searched all over the place to try to find the, the Hershey's cinnamon chips and could not find them anywhere. And so whenever I first made the recipe, I actually used the Hershey's uh, premium white chips. Really? But whenever I wrote the recipe and submitted it, I I included the cinnamon chips. Well, the cinnamon chips make it. It's excellent. This is an excellent recipe. Now, if you don't see something that you need for a recipe, don't hesitate to ask your grocer, right, that's, to get them in because especially now your recipe may become quite popular in these areas. <laughs> that's exactly uh, what I did. Uh, whenever I found out that I was an official finalist, uh, I knew I was going to have to be making this, and so I, I went to uh, the grocery manager yeah. and and asked them, and, and they had it in in about a week. Oh, that's great. So. This is an excellent recipe, and I love the layers. The top is that nice, crunchy, kind of like a granola um, layer to it. What are you going to have to do for the competition come April? Uh, well, the Bake Off contest is, is uh, from April 11th to the 13th. Uh, with the actual Bake Off contest itself being on the 12th. And so starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, all of the finalists will be in a ballroom down in Orlando uh, where we have four hours uh, to prepare our recipes. And there will be 100. How many batches? Uh, we have to uh, make it three times. Ooh, okay. Yes. That's a lot. Three times in four hours. Once for the judges, once for display, and then once for samples for okay. anyone who wants them. All right. For anybody at home who wants to make this recipe, what do you estimate? How long would it take them? Uh, it's 20 minutes prep time. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, yeah. given the baking time and plus cooling time, so sure. probably about three hours. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, check out the recipe on our website. We'll have it up by about 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, we really appreciate Maurice coming to us this morning from, uh, from our neighbors down south, our neighborhoods down south. We appreciate you being here, and good luck to you in the competition. Oh, it's my pleasure being here. And thanks. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back.